in the upcoming years, there is going to be an uplifting in many events around the world. There's many that only speculate and many others that continue to doubt. But let's take a look into the eyes of the of his serpent that lay on the ground. In the year 2011, the commencement of a fallen era began, not because of religious, political, or supernatural prophecies, or fairy tales were manufactured on Hollywood Boulevard. When we will look at the Bible in a different perspective, we're going to see many passages narrating what many call the end of days, such as Daniel 12, semicolon 4. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and from, and knowledge shall be increased. Hosey 4, semicolon 3. Therefore shall the landlord and everyone that dwelleth Therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Luke 21, Alan 25 through 26. And upon the earth distresses of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves growing. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And do not take this as a faith or religious lesson. It is but what you have been told upon generations of different religions, just like any other past civilization, but as well. We have entities such as ISIS or Russia, which is unlawful to do yoga, stated as a cult. They do not want any religious related materials spreaded around. When we look at the politics, we are clearly seeing an aspect of collapse in political power, which obviously includes how the race for oil, space, and territories become a collapse for the animals and human beings involved in the middle of it without warranting to such as David Levy, who is the chairman of the Jerome Levy Forecasting Center in New York, is of the opinion that 2015 will mark the start of another major recession that will last for a considerable amount of time. Levy is not the only economist who is predicting an economic collapse in 2015. Professor W. Thompson of Indian University also projects that the economies world over will see a downturn in 2015. Trade of food and confiscation of wealth, wars between disagreements and the damage to ancient artifacts, leaving no trace of a future civilization able to study from these. In a certain different way, we look at the past to study what to avoid and how human beings are culturally, which have been affected by major corporations monopolizing and political parties overlooking the poor and the unhealthy. Everybody is ignoring the bad and just getting brainwashed by entertainment and secrecy is at its best nowadays. Nowadays, we only rely on the whistleblowers to talk about the secrets that affect everyone on Earth. When talking about supernatural prophecies, it is eerily how textbooks of civilization could predict certain events astronomically or globally. Then again, you've been told there's no other advanced civilizations. Yet, we have the skull and bones, taking place, the K Greeks talking of such. Yet we have Snowden talking of NSAs, all seeing I and all here here. All of these things 
point to something much darker and bigger than anyone can actually imagine. What we will see from 2015 to 2025 is going to be globally impactful. NASA confirms intelligent or some sort of extraterrestrial beings are to be discovered by 2022 or so. There's Europa, Ceres, Pluto, Mars. Some of the starters of beginning to look for another place to live, just like we're sending humans to Mars by 2020 through the 2030s. It's predicted to have the technology to send humans to Mars. Yet, we have only this option to the rich and powerful human beings that jail or kill anyone who opposes them. Instead of opening the doors, to everybody as one civilization only, a select few will always be left behind. If we don't enlighten this human civilization before Doomsday gets here, I fear there's not going to be a planet left behind. Nuclear weapons are being playfully managed by kids. And look the other way, or give your other shit. It's being said too much. For someone to care about the world, this should not take place. There is intelligent life out there in the universe, but human beings are not yet advanced enough to comprehend its value. We value things on Earth instead of one another. The currencies are only created to destroy humanity's behavior. And politics are created to separate ideologies, while borders are created to separate countries and flags to create false patriotism a religion to curse others while sanctifying some. Look around and don't be amazed that beings like me have been embodied, reincarnated to warn about this. They have failed. I have failed personally. Oxygen levels might be affected in the near future. Droughts and constant struggle with viruses and deadly bacteria is going to become more and more broad around the world. It is not going to be pretty, regardless of how many messages the enlightened ones have broadcast. Humankind gets deceived easily. This needs to end humankind. There is not a future to be tampered with. If there is no action upon all of you, this is not going to end well. It will be painful and catastrophic without even imagining the damaging and slow misery left behind for the leftovers. Do remain in this class. If you're a free follow, and I will be posting other methods of overriding the way of thinking and the limited prison we are living in. We are capable of more, but we have to do it together. Otherwise, human beings will only leave a trace of dust and garbage behind for centuries to come until it is entities become aware of this planet and its potential of habitability. They come around leading the new species to evolve once more. We're just a mere particle of us, but together we're planet Earth. Don't lose it upon percentages and scare tactics. Become one to resolve the problems as one. My name is Tano Project Norad and AFIT knows about the contact and constant signals we provide in the skies. The more in depth you get into the fast walkers and slow walkers, and the more people decipher techniques where other matters are discovered. There might be an unbalanced desire to use it for more exploration, but some others might have a darker, more malevolent plan to turn it into a weapon against weaker-minded people. The world is at its serious stake in drought, pestilence, death, violence, and eventually death of the planet will be visible to those who never took warning serious. There are more projects coming through transmissions that will lead to a certain date. For now, Puzzle 5 off transmission over. In my opinion, if aliens are here, 
I suspect the newspapers would be full of the story. And if governments are involved in a cover-up, they're doing a much better job at it than they seem to do at anything else.